Celebrations underway across many different places of the world, including New York City, where thousands came together to ring in the new year. And right here in the Bay Area, we're still a couple hours away from the start of 2024. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Crystal Bailey. Midnight, just a couple hours away here for those of us in the Bay Area. Here is a live look at San Francisco. An estimated 100,000 people are expected to gather along the Embarcadero to watch the Bay Area's largest fireworks show. Those fireworks will be launched at midnight near the ferry building. Several streets in the downtown area are blocked off for security purposes. And San Francisco City's Hall is also light up lit up all those as the city gets ready to say goodbye to 2023 and ring in the new year drivers heading to the big new year's eve celebration in the city can expect parking restrictions along the embarcadero people are being urged to take public transit and with midnight approaching new year's celebrations taking place all across the bay area and for those behind the big parties months of preparation all coming down to tonight ktvu zach sauce in san francisco at one of the city's bigger parties taking place there in the city and zach uh, you had a chance to speak to one of the organizers yeah and i tell you what putting this all together no easy feat at all take a look at the party they have here this is just one of four themed dance floors they have going on here. And the door's just opening a short while ago. But the setup for all of this, that began days ago. Inside San Francisco's historic Hibernia Bank building, it's all hands on deck. The last hour is when everything comes together, you know. Adrian Goddard and his longtime business partner, Edward Cruz, with just hours until the doors open to more than 800 New Year's Eve revelers. I'm the stressed one. He doesn't get stressed. <laughs> the duo putting on events like these together for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for about 20 years, or maybe 25 years now. And promising that at this party... We can't get bored. Their black and white New Year's Eve... Four parties in one. So we have the masquerade ball downstairs, the Monaco room, which is basically like a casino type, uh, Monte Carlo kind of room, black and white upstairs here, yeah. and then the penthouse is a great gas experience. Historic relics from the bank all around the building. <laughs> Tickets for the night purchased as far back as six months yeah. ago and by party goers from all over the world. They're coming in from Australia, coming in from France, coming in from, they come here to San Francisco, San Francisco is iconic. From their perspective, a sign the city is on the rebound. People are starting to do more and come out more. I think the city is really pushing forward an agenda that's cleaning up the streets. Um, but, you know, there's a long way to go to get the city back to, you know, the splendor, the glamour that it used to have. And with that, time to get back to work. We're on schedule. We're on schedule. <laughs> you know, there's always last minute surprises. Yeah. Meantime, across town in the city's Pope Gulch neighborhood. <laughs> Toby Prosher overseeing his team from SF Events inside the Regency Ballroom. This room is a, a, just the best place to be at midnight. His Moni New Year's Eve party now in its 20th year. So the setup? It's seamless for us. But still with plenty to do. All the load-in table setups, you know, decor setups. Offering a quick tour of the historic space in between hanging signs. All along this wall is all of our VIP table service. You have quadruple bar here. And a chance to ride in one of San Francisco's last man operated elevators. He is in basement? Yes, sir. So this is what upstairs looked like two hours ago. Everything on schedule, but for Toby, no time to relax. The phone won't start until 11.55 when I'm on stage with a cocktail and I'm ready to pull the balloon drop. It's fun. 